Alright everyone, a uh, minor update to the Symbiote milestones. Uh, we know that they'll be running for four weeks this time, and so that should be 28 days if everything goes well. Uh, just checking it out against the calculator I built last month when we had this in mid... Uh, I think it was the middle of March um, is when it started, but... Uh, or actually it ended. I guess it was February through March. But in any case, you can see here we get some symbiote shards uh, for our World Warrior uh, High Roller and Save the World campaign energy um, milestones. And I can tell you that I double checked everything and nothing has changed as far as the rewards go. It is the exact same. You can get five a day from the gold milestones if you get all of your milestones up to, I think it's... Uh, 1.8 million is what you need for the uh yeah 1.825 million for the 13th milestone to get the fifth one and then you can get two a day or every two days i should say from the uh, campaign energy one so there's one at the second milestone and one at the uh eighth milestone which are easy to get that's almost like that's basically one day's worth of energy usage and then the world warrior is the same you can get six total shards from it um starting at milestone six and you know ending at milestone 16 so you don't have to get the last one to get all the shards but you should because 20 tier 4 materials is pretty awesome and that was there last time as well so pretty good stuff uh, let me switch over here to my chrome spreadsheet this should look familiar it's the exact same format i used last time it's just with a couple of additional tweaks so one we've updated the end date to may 5th or 13th uh that's 28 days from now and we have exactly 28 days this one actually started on a world warrior reset so the last one was kind of quirky because what happened was is it started prior to the world warrior reset but if you want to look through those milestones you can check them all out here uh, my notes are at the bottom and if your alliance is struggling to hit the weekly world warrior milestone points i have a calculator here for figuring out how much you need everybody to do every day doing blitz wins doing arena fights and all that and war attacks so um, if you need to, feel free to use that, make a copy of it, and uh, talk to your alliance if you need to. Show them what it takes to get those milestones and finish it up. So over here, I've updated my calculator. So the Symbiote Star calculator um, is actually... Um, a little bit revamped now so because we have existing shards and stars what I've done is I've added a new uh, row here for your current SSM uh, level uh, so whatever number of stars he has uh, is what you want to put here you can do that manually or if you use this MS uh, roster organizer from Zara tools um, link in the description if you want to go check them out um, then you can actually just import this into your roster spreadsheet and it'll look for uh, the roster Spider-Man symbiote name and the number of stars next to him. So I have that set up for mine as well as the excess shard count that's out to the right of that column. And uh, those two combined will give us exactly how many total shards I have earned or you if you put in your numbers um, to this date, right? So I am 11 over uh, four stars so that means I've gotten 180 needed to get to four stars and then an 11 additional 11 in my inventory right and I need uh, let's say another uh, what is it 119 to get to five stars so the rest of these things down here are going to help you calculate how far you can get in this next run of the event as far as shard predictions go so this symbiote shard simulator here is the same one we used last time it's got the four week cycle right two weeks and two weeks and it's 28 day cal uh, calendar right so for me i'm going to target hitting four shards from gold every day uh two shards from energy and the World Warrior shards, you know, you get six basically every seven days if you complete them all. So I just spread it out one a day, but you know it's going to be two and three and then none here and there. So uh, in any case, it calculates it over here on the right, tallies it up, and at the end of two weeks, I'm predicting I will get 82 shards from this calendar. That's not quite enough to get five star. So it'll be around day 20, according to the calculator here then I'm going to hit five stars, which is about, you know, 119 shards into it. Isn't that neato? <laughs> However, if I was shooting for six stars, uh, maybe I bought offers or spent cores on his, uh, you know, orbs and stuff to boost my numbers up. Well, I would want to put those in my shard count here so that they get calculated. And let's say I did buy, you know, 50 shards. So I got now 61 shards towards him well you can see i'm getting closer to being able to get six stars well maybe i got 90 shards right 
towards five star. Well, that makes it a little bit closer, <laughs> but you know, still I'm only going to get 164 shards here at the bottom for the entire 28 day calendar if I maintain this output. So this is pretty helpful for figuring out, you know, where you should expect to land at the end of this 28 days. And if you want to, you can adjust it here. Say I'm going to go five every other day, right? So instead I'm going to go eight, 1.8 million every other day and get those extra shards. And you can see how that feeds into the bottom here. It gives us a little bit higher average per day uh, for shards. And, um, you know, you can see how that feeds in and how it may actually bring us into, um, a number that's close to 28 is what we're shooting for for the six star in order to make it go green where you have a chance at finishing all of the number or getting all of the uh, shards you need to get to your desired six star level right so if you're not at four yet um, this will adjust right so if i was at three for some reason and uh, only like three shards right i'd be shooting for four stars here and that would take me about 12 days to get the shards but i'm not going to get another 130 in order to get to five that would be outside the 28 day boundary so this will help you figure out like how many shards you need to buy or get in orbs um, in order to make up the deficit for whatever star level you want and this is really important because you know in dark dimension three symbiote spider-man is the all-star right everybody says he's awesome you look at the top 10 damage rankings in those nodes for city and symbiote is in all those teams pretty much so he is really important if you're planning on doing dd3 anytime in the near future uh, or if you're already in it and you haven't gotten the city yet he is very 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 important so you want to make sure you're maxing your stars and getting these milestones and doing as much as you can feel free to just make a copy of this into your own google drive and then you can edit it and use it as you want there's plenty of other calculators and interesting sheets in my roster spreadsheet here the link is in the description it's under my roster organizer but i'll put a link directly to this particular page in it and uh, you can reach it there and check it out and you know play with it tweak the numbers however it works best for you and uh, try to figure out what your target is and see if you can really make that stretch goal uh, after the four weeks is up so uh, good luck everybody I hope you can get your symbiotes up to at least five stars that's a pretty good level I think uh, six is probably going to take at least another calendar uh, so maybe uh, I guess in June we'll revisit this again and uh, hopefully it'll get us there to the next star level but we'll see so Good luck, everybody. <laughs>